हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू ई लर्निंग प्रोग्राम नाउ वी हैव सीन इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज द सेवन चैप्टर नॉन कॉपरेशन मूवमेंट इज देयर ओके इन दैट फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस लेसन वी हैव सीन द रोल ऑफ गांधी जी इन साउथ अफ्रीका गांधी जी अराइव इन इंडिया फिलोसॉफी ऑफ सत्याग्रह चंपारण सत्याग्रह खेड़ा सत्याग्रह देन सत्याग्रह अगेंस्ट रोलट एक्ट देन जालियन वाला बाग मास्कियर एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज नॉन को ऑपरेशन मूवमेंट इन द सेकेंड पार्ट ओके नाउ द कॉन्सेप्ट बिहाइंड द नॉन को ऑपरेशन मूवमेंट वॉज दैट द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट इन इंडिया इज डिपेंडेंट ओनली ऑन को ऑपरेशन of indians <clears throat> if the indians adopted complete non cooperation then the british government will completely collapse with this intention he evoked the people of india to take part in this movement in 1920 the indian national congress session was held at nagpur the resolution of non cooperation movement put forth by chitranjan das was accepted all reins of movements were given in the hands of mahatma gandhi ji according to this resolution a program was framed to boycott the government offices courts foreign goods government schools and colleges okay now you can understand it very well what is the concept of non cooperation because of you know it very well the british government completely dependent on the cooperation of the indians okay and the indian adopted complete non cooperation then the british government will completely collapse okay because of the british government completely depend on the cooperation of the indians okay so in 1920 the indian national congress session was held at nagpur and the dissolution of non cooperation movement put forth by chitranjan das who was accepted this movement okay and all reins of movement given hands of the mahatma gandhi ji the next point is the progress of non cooperation movement on the background of non cooperation movement many eminent lawyers like motilal nehru chitranjan das then these leaders boycotted the court by giving up their practice during this period with this during this period with the boycott of school and colleges the scheme of national education was run many national schools colleges and universities were established there was boycott of coming election boycott and bonfire of foreign clothes due to this the import of foreign clothes decreased in 1920 during the visit of prime prime uh, prince of wales he was welcomed by organizing hartal lonely roads and close shop welcomed the prince the movement spread from the planters in assam to rail workers in bengal to bring the movement under the control the british government undertook suppressive measures in february 1920 the police opened fire on a peaceful procession at chauri chowra in gorakhpur district of uttar pradesh the people were angry and set fire to police station in which along with one officer 22 policemen were killed due to this incident but gandhi ji was hurt on but gandhi ji was hurt because of this incident and on 12th february 1922 gandhi ji suspended the non cooperation movement okay gandhi ji was arrested in march 1922 for writing three anti national articles in young india special court was set up at ahmedabad and gandhi ji was sentenced 6 years of imprisonment later on grounds of ill health gandhi ji was released from the jail 
गांधी जी अलॉन्ग विथ नॉन कॉपरेशन मूवमेंट टू कप कंस्ट्रक्टिव प्रोग्राम्स विच मेनली स्प्रेड विच मेनली इनक्लूड स्प्रेड ऑफ स्वदेशी हिंदू मुस्लिम यूनिटी प्रोहिबिशन ऑफ अल्कोहल रिमोल ऑफ अनटचेबिलिटी दैन पॉपुलराइज यूज ऑफ खादी नेशनल एजुकेशन एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा ड्यू टू दिस कंस्ट्रक्टिव प्रोग्राम द नेशनल मूवमेंट बिकेम मोर कॉम्प्रेहेंसिव इन रूरल एरियाज ओके नो वी कैन सी वॉट हैपन इन दैट पीरियड and how the progress of non cooperation movement was okay now the prince of wales arrived in india in 1921 he was welcomed with an organized hartal closed shops and deserted streets the movement had spread from the pla- uh, planters in assam to railway workers in bengal the british government resorted to large scale suppressive measures to bring the movement under control now then the incident was happened at that time the withdrawal of non cooperation movement by mahatma gandhi ji the police firing on peaceful procession led to violence in chauri chaura in gorakhpur district of uttar pradesh in february 1922 in this incident 22 policemen were burnt alive by the and dragged mob gandhi ji was heard by this incident so he suspended the non cooperation movement on 12th february 1922 then after that the charges were levied against the mahatma gandhi ji for waiting for writing three anti national articles in young india then he was arrested in march 1922 and imprisoned for 6 years we have seen here his trial was conducted in the special court at ahmedabad later he was released on the health ground okay now the after that when he came out from the jail at that time the constructive programs were built up after what happened after his release from the prison gandhi ji undertook constructive programs it included the pro, the uh, propagation of swadeshi popularization of khadi hindu muslim unity eradication of untouchability and prohibition of alcohol etc etc these are the constructive programs by mahatma gandhi jones there and it strengthened the national movement in rural area okay got it now the next point is there the swaraj party is there okay what is in it the members of indian national congress such as chitan jandas motilal nehru put up the idea of contesting election and obstructing the work of the british government in 1922 the swaraj party was established in 1923 many members of swaraj party were elected in central legislative assembly and provincial legislative council mainly including motilal nehru मदन मोहन मालविया लाला लजपत राय एंड एन सी केलकर वेन द पॉलिटिकल मूवमेंट इन द कंट्री क्लेम डाउन देन द फाइट इन द लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली वॉज स्ट्रेंथन बाय स्वराज पार्टी दे सर्व अपोज द अनजस्ट पॉलिसीज ऑफ ब्रिटिश दे डिमांडेड द रिस्पॉन्सिबल गवर्नमेंट शुड बी गिवन टू इंडिया इन फ्यूचर दे मेड अ रेजोल्यूशन resolution to be passed in legislative assembly for the release release of political leaders from prison to call for the round table conference the government rejected the most of resolutions now swaraj party we have seen here the swaraj party the point is there okay the many leaders of the national indian and uh, Indian National Congress put an idea of contesting election and obstructing the work of the British. So, Swaraj Party was formed in nineteen twenty-two. Many of the leaders, like Pandit Motilal Nehru, 
मदन मोहन मालविया एन सी केलकर एंड लाला लजपत राय वी आर इलेक्टेड टू द सेंट्रल लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली एंड प्रोविंशियल प्रोविंशियल लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल द वर्क ऑफ द स्वराज पार्टी इन सेंट्रल लेजिस्लेचर वॉट आर दिस वर्क अपोज अनजस्ट पॉलिसीज ऑफ गवर्नमेंट सेकेंड वन डिमांडेड रिस्पॉन्सिबल गवर्नमेंट टू बी गिवन टू इंडिया इन फ्यूचर एंड थर्ड वन the called they called the round table conference for that decision and fourth one demanded release all political our indian leaders from the prison many resolutions were passed in central legislative assembly but were rejected by the government and then the british government called the simon commission the reform the reforms introduced by the montague james four act of 1919 were unsatisfactory hence there was discontent among the indian people on this background the british appointed a commission under the chairmanship of sir john simon in this commission none of indian member was included very dangerous thing hence the congress decided to boycott this commission in 1928 the commission arrived in india wherever it traveled the people made demonstrations against them by by shouting the slogans like simon go back simon go back simon go back there was lati charge on demonstrators at lahor lala lajpat rai was leading the demonstration against the simon commission the police lati charged the demonstrators sounders a police officer attacked lala ji with lati after the attack in the protest meeting lala ji said everyone blow on my body will prove a nail in the coffin of the british empire within a few days of the attack lala ji died what is the simon commission the specify the discontent among the people regarding unsatisfactory provisions of montague james ford act of 1919 the british government appointed simon commission under the chairmanship of sir john simon in 1927 <clears throat> the congress boycotted the commission the congress and all indians boycotted the commission because there was not a single indian in this commission then people strongly protested against the commission shouting simon go back simon go back wherever it went and at last the death of lala lajpat rai why because lala lajpat rai led the demonstration or at lahore against simon commission the police lati charged the demonstrators a police officer named sounders attack lala ji with lati after the attack lala ji said every blow on my body will prove a nail in the coffin of the british empire and at last lala ji uh, succumbed the death due to injuries because of they have charged because of they have beaten the lot up on to the lala ji okay the next point is nehru report what is nehru report was there brecken head secretary of state of india criticized that the indian leaders cannot draft a unanimously accepted constitution this challenge was accepted and all and all party committee was formed pandit motilal nehru was the chairman of this committee to establish self government in the colonies of india implement adult uh, francis 
we system legislative division of provinces such proposals were put up in this report this report was known as nehru report by the end of 1929 an indication was given that if nehru report is not accepted by the government then the civil obedience movement will be started and on this background in december 1929 the lahore session presided by pandit jawarlal nehru became memorable in history what is nehru report barking head the secretary of state of india criticized that indian leaders were incapable of drafting a unanimously accepted constitution for india and this challenge was taken up by all party committee under the chairmanship of pandit motilal nehru and what is the proposals of pandit nehru that is the called as nehru report nehru report proposed that india should get self government implementation of adult a uh, franchise system linguistic division of provisions all these things they were uh, included in the nehru report then next point is the demand of purna swarajya the objective of indian national congress of dominant st- uh, status was not acceptable to many young members young leaders like pandit nehru and subhash chandra bose were demanding complete independence that is purna swarajya due to the influence of this young group in the lahore session of indian national congress resolution of attainment of complete independence was passed through this resolution indian national congress gave up the objectives of dominant status from here onward the objectives of national movement was complete independence of india on 31st december 1929 pandit nehru unfurled the tricolor flag and a resolution was passed in which 26 january was declared to be celebrated as independence day on 26 january 1930 people all over the country took pledge for carrying out the freedom movement with non violent means for attainment of independence of india and everywhere in country the atmosphere was charged with a new spirit got it now in the at the last point the demand of the purna swarajya all the leaders okay now congress accepted the nehru report and warned the government that it would launch the civil disobedience movement if the government did not accept the nehru report by the end of the year 20, 1929 on the background of lahore session the indian national congress was held they demanded complete independence that is purna swarajya pandit nehru and subhash chandra bose and other young leaders got the resolution of purna swarajya passed and it was decided to observe 26 january 1930 as the independence day and on this day people took pledge the attain complete independence from the british rule by non violent method methods got it this is the uh, nehru report is there and we will get and we would get the complete independence on that day that is the purna swarajya now i think so you can understand this lesson is there now uh, here is the exercise is given here now you have to write these question and answers in uh, your homework book is there okay i think i hope you got it you can understand you understand you understood this lesson is there okay thank you thank you very much students this is the portion or the syllabus of first term is completed okay thank you thank you very much